Hey folks, appreciate you checking in with us here at MyFoxHurricane.com. It is uh, Thursday afternoon. Hope your week's going well so far. Here's the latest on Tropical Depression Ada. Remember, this was a, a Category 4 hurricane about 48 hours ago as it was coming ashore in northeastern Nicaragua. Uh, tons of flooding, tons of landslides across parts of Honduras and Nicaragua. Not a great situation. Now the focus becomes what happens with this over the next few days as it reemerges uh, out over the northwestern Caribbean and heads up towards Cuba over the weekend. It, it's likely to re-strengthen into a tropical storm, kind of head up towards Cuba through the weekend, probably a lot of rainfall for them as it slows down. You see kind of that quick jaunt to the right or to the left, excuse me, that westerly movement is really going to be directed by a building ridge in the western Atlantic. Uh, after that happens, things get pretty interesting. We're pretty confident in that forecast as, gets, as it gets up towards the Keys in South Florida. If you're in South Florida or the Keys, plan on quite a bit of rainfall late in the weekend into early next week and some very gusty winds as well. But once it shoots to the west, it, it's a question of how far west does it go before the next trough moving into the eastern U.S. picks it up, steers it to the north, and eventually northeast. Does that bring into play the Florida Panhandle, Central Florida, perhaps somewhere even further west? These are questions to be answered over the next week or so. This is going to be a, a long time to watch this. If we do see any impacts around Central Florida or parts of Northwest Florida, uh, it's going to be probably a, a week, week and a half out, seven to 10 days. So still some time to watch this and kind of fine tune the details. This is the GFS versus the European model, uh, both kind of in the same general plan right now with that westerly movement and then a move to the north and eventually northeast late next week. So stay with us over the next several days. We'll be able to fine tune details on this. Once it starts to move back out of the Northwestern Caribbean tomorrow and into the weekend, I think we'll start to get a pretty good idea of exactly how this is going to snake its way up the North and eventually Northeast. So be sure to check back in for updates uh, through the weekend. Take care.